Hey, what's going on, everybody? Hope everyone's doing well out there. This video is for Wally in a Box. Now, he was talking about putting a shim behind the neck of the guitar that he was showing on uh, his last video. So I got a couple of ideas for him. One of them, you end up throwing this product away anyways every time you go to the store to buy something. And I'm sure he probably has, uh, just like I do, access to it. Maybe something he's storing that's still in the package. Anyways... I've seen a lot of different uh, a lot of different things used as shims. I've seen guitar picks, credit cards, uh, wood shims, uh, business cards being used as a shim. Now, I don't like to use the wood or anything that's paper like a business card as a shim. Uh, to me, that just might be a little bit too spongy. Uh, in time, it could break down. Uh, you just don't know the outcome of it later on down the line, especially if you own the guitar and you like the guitar, you play it a lot and everything else. Veneers are pretty good, uh, depending on the type of veneer that you get. If you get something that's a little bit more of a harder wood veneer, uh, it'll last a lot longer without compressing. This is a... This is a maple veneer, but it's got a paper backing on there. And, and this, I'm sure if I dent it, if I put this on top of a nice hard flat surface and take a hammer to it, I'm sure it will compress. Now, one of the things that, you know, you throw away every time when you go to the store and you buy something, especially if it's something that, uh, you know, they don't want you to steal out of the package, are these plastic, molded plastic uh, uh cases that you have to cut open every time you buy something and bring it home these things are pretty much th thick enough to use as a shim also uh if you need to you could double it up and you know just get that pitch a little bit more on your guitar neck now from the way your guitar looks as far as uh you know how decked those saddles are on top of that bridge um, you might need two pieces of this stacked up on top of each other. Yeah, you could play it around with it to check out to see, you know, start off with two pieces and then end up uh, dropping it to one piece if it's too much. But the thickness of this stuff is pretty much uh, what you would find as far as the thickness of uh, a shim that, you know, anybody else would put inside the guitar. And if you need to use two pieces, like I said, you have it. It's there. And it's not going to compress or break down like paper or wood would. Now, the one thing that I would say be careful of is when you're tightening up your neck, you don't tighten it too tight because you will crack the neck pocket around each side of the or one side of uh, the neck on the body. So be careful. Now, it's not a wood crack. It's basically a stress, stress crack in the finish. I've done it before. Had to fix it. You know, they're a pain in the ass, they look ugly, you know, and a lot of people think that there's a, it's a broken neck pocket, uh, it's through the wood, and they don't like, you know, seeing something like that, especially if you want to sell it or give it away or whatever. So yeah, using a molded piece of plastic like these are, these cases, uh, and just cut out what you need for a shim. Pretty simple. All right, take care. Have a good one.